YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail, coming through with another sneaker pickup or a small sneaker haul, rather. Now, one of these were forgotten. Now, I'm already just saved. Most of y'all probably already saved from the video. Um, it's just uh, three New Balances that I picked up. I know, I know a lot of people, you know, it's got to be either Jordan or Nike and all that stuff, man. But like I always say, though, guys, you know, um, whatever I like, I buy. So as many brands, that's just the way I do it. That's just the way I see it personally. Um, yeah, man. Um, now, if I just say a regular like sneaker haul pickup, that means it's probably like many brands. But since this is only New Balance, that's all, you know, and it's only just three and it's this small. That's all it is. Now, one more thing, though, too. One of these pairs I actually forgot to include in my last haul, so um, I'm like, damn, as soon as I uploaded the video again, I'm like, damn, I forgot to show my one New Balance that I actually picked up in like somewhat of like the mid-summer or something like that. I forgot to show you that, guys, and I'm just like, whatever, I'll just show it. Y'all either see the review of it by surprise or, you know, next haul I do or small pickups or whatever, I insert that in there as far as like sneakers go so lo and behold i end up getting the mt580 new balance joints now i end up getting these on Seneca sneakers and this is not my first time shopping with them i have been shopping with them for like at least the past two to three years and uh i put in code 580 well these was 52 dollars but the regular retail is 130 plus tax so Definitely worth it, and it's also sixty dollars, sixty dollars or more for free shipping, um, and that's basically it. Pretty simple. I usually go there for New Balances only. You know, it's not the place for Nike and Jordan and all that stuff. Uh, they predominantly have New Balances. At one point, they had a little bit of Adidas and maybe a little bit of Puma, but for the most part, all New Balance for the most part. From the size of the website and stuff, it just seemed like a small boutique. Anyway, this is the sneaker right here. Now, I did review the MT580 before. I fell in love with the 580 Stray Rats collab. I should have probably got that one out. We got the Stray Rats joint. Now, thanks for the views on this video that I did of this review. People definitely liked it. Um, this is why I feel like my channel is definitely needed on sneaker YouTube rather um, because these it, at the least at the time when I did a review on these like It was barely even one and you know that that one might have been just like a slideshow video So to actually do a live action video review or whatever it definitely helped um, people gave me my props on it You know how I go go check out this review if you haven't yet and uh, yeah, I've just liked them ever since. So I wanted to get um, the solid colors too, like uh, like that royal blue one they have. It's, it's kind of like navy blue. Um, but yeah, so I've seen these, but I I, I, I didn't want to pull the trigger to the, to the price was correct. I wasn't going to pay 130 for this. And that's no diss to New Balance, man. But it's just like, man, I'm, I'm a sneaker guy, man. I, I got multiple sneakers to buy throughout the year. You know what I mean? Like I can't just... Keep, I just can't just keep dropping full retail on every sneaker. So it is what it is. Um, now, new some New Balances definitely worth that full retail. But when you can get them for a steal deal, y'all know what I do, guys. Now, this lace, I actually did a lace swap early. Um, they didn't come with this lace. This is the lace they come with. And y'all know from my previous New Balance sneaker videos, you know, the sneakers that's a little bit more up to date, like the 580 and stuff like that. Um, they put these kind of laces in there. Now, this is not the regular soft cotton lace from like the 80s or whatever that we're used to or the 90s. Um, this is more so this, this rugged one. I don't, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. Every time I do a New Balance review, I always say that uh, if they give us that kind of shoestring. Now, it is possible for them to give us the 80s cotton one that we're used to, you know, that Nike give us, Asics, whoever, you know, in most cases, or you know when they doing collabs and stuff but yeah so um because even the the 650s and the 550s those come with regular decent laces that we're used to but okay 
Um, but as far as this color though, this is not a collab or anything, but this definitely remind me of collab vibes with this and i get like a 90s kind of like vibe with this i can't wait to do a review on this so i could go a little bit more in depth now i did go into more so of the history of the 580 with this one though so that explains why that video over 10 minutes but hey, i like this colorway too kind of remind me of like a nerf toy a little bit from the 90s a little bit uh i know that orange maybe electric orange can go through here like i said oh guys they don't give you any extra laces just this blue lace but um there's multiple other lace colors that could go through here i think like a wild orange can go through here maybe like a lavender or a pink or something you know just something to really kick this sneaker up even like this lime green vote colorway i got on here obviously you can see that right there I'm calling it black and purple but i've also seen it go as phantom black now this joint right here actually came with the black laces this colorway definitely reminds me of like the 90s neon kind of like colors a little bit like goosebumps the irony i got a goosebumps shirt to actually match this sneaker but uh definitely fly flames and clean um now i'm all around with my colors you know uh, i do like conservative colors too and i also like to switch it up and get colors like this that pop you know i don't want a bunch of the same thing with my sneakers you know what i mean like blue black green red you know like all solid ain't nothing wrong with people that do that but i think the colorways definitely takes it up a lot you know um the different colorways gives the sneaker its own like personality you know what i mean its own character just like even doing the laces with this like the black laces in here isn't bad but like um a bright orange can work through this i decided to put like uh a pink on here and i as you guys can see you do have like a a purple as well maybe like a lavender lace can work um yeah you guys can see you guys can see your eyes not fooling you man and uh this is the same build as the other one with the mesh top i definitely like the way that tongue sits on there um this rubber piece right here at the top with the new balance 580 crazy 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 side note too um these just come in a regular new balance box too they got that little you know these actually come in a made box i actually got these for about like 54 or something like that 54 bucks this was off snipes in the middle of the summer my apologies guys i wish i could have showed this to you last time um in my last haul but i didn't get a chance to because i straight up forgot man i be getting so many sneakers and it isn't like i'm getting like 30 sneakers a month but you wear them and you kind of like forget and you like man what's all the new stuff that i got you know what i mean so um since i'm doing sneaker haul videos for y'all now um you know stuff happens so okay so this is the made one clean 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 now the crazy part about this is that i actually already shot the review for this i just need to get the b-roll out to you guys and man 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 this is my first 992 this is not the regular lace that came with it yes i did a lace swap for this one too the original lace that came with this is this rugged white lace i'm not really a fan of it because it's like that rugged kind of like look i might throw that in if i sell, sell some kicks or some on ebay you know just if somebody needs some extra laces just throw it in there for the hell of it um this kick though definitely fly you got the white new buck on it it probably would have been better or easier cleanup with a white leather instead but this one i would definitely wear with caution but this is the kick that i need more of like an all gray any other colors i think 992s don't get dropped that much so uh they don't release that much so you know this is definitely a treat right here but as far as this sneaker just in a general sense the detail on it is amazing if i could get that focus there we go that usa and you know this definitely scream 90s i think i even said in a review that's supposed to be dropping on this soon if, uh if will smith wore new balances in the early 90s this might be one of them and this is just so clean man the only bad thing about this sneaker is that this suede this pig skin suede definitely will dirty easy if you do not keep it clean or if you wear it too much so yep 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 it doesn't matter about like the brand or anything it's just natural with that kind of material and uh 
for 50 54 bucks off snipes definitely worth it guys so rate comment and subscribe that was my small new balance pickup um i got more content on the way thanks for everybody who's watched my previous videos and uh yeah stay tuned i got more content coming up peace